Hello, welcome to this week's problem of the week. Uh, so for this problem, uh, we are given a scenario in which uh, you start with a number, each second passes, you can take a step, um, and this step is the uh, addition or subtraction of a number such that it is n factorial, where n is any positive integer. Um, so now we are, so for this problem, we're starting at zero. We're trying to figure out how we can get to uh, 100 in exactly four seconds. Uh, so this means we have to take four steps. And so the first thing we have to do is figure out what these steps could be. Uh, so we know that uh, one step has to be at least um, adding five factorial. Um, if we add four factorial, um, we won't be able to get to 100 because four times four factorial is equal to uh, 96, and that is less than 100. So one of the steps has to be at least 5 factorial. Um, but we also know that uh, no step can be uh, greater than or equal to 6 factorial, uh, because 6 factorial um, is equal to 720. And 720 minus 3 times 5 factorial um, is equal to 360, which is greater than 100. So we won't have um, enough steps again. Um, and so given that we have to have one step of at least 5 factorial, um, and no step greater than or equal to 6 factorial, we know that one of the steps is going to be adding a 5 factorial. Um, so 5 factorial is equal to 120. Um, and we know that um, we have to add, we have to subtract 4 factorial from this total um, because uh, 3 factorial um, is equal to 6. And 120 minus 3 times 3 factorial is um, equal to 102. And that's greater than 100, um, so we won't have enough steps unless we subtract 4 factorial as a step. Um, so when two steps are 5 factorial and 4 factorial, or adding 5 factorial and subtracting 4 factorial, uh, we will be left uh, with 96. So we need to have two steps um, that either have a difference of or a sum of uh, 4. And so there are two possible ways you can go about this. Um, you can either Add 3 factorial and subtract 2 factorial. Um, 6 minus 2 is 4. Or you can add 2 factorial twice. Uh, 2 plus 2 is 4. Um, so either of these two ways will get you to uh, 104 steps. Um, and now we need to consider order because we need to figure out how many ways we can go about this. Um, so we do it on a case by case basis. So the first case we'll look at. Um, where the steps are adding 5 factorial, subtracting 4 factorial, and the last two, we add 2 factorial twice. Um, so there are four distinct steps, um, and four um, steps we can, get, or we can put in, um, and uh, two steps repeat, uh, so you have to account for that. Um, so for case one, the number of ways, um, the number of ways to get from 0 to 104 seconds using these steps is equal to 4 factorial over 2 factorial, counting for these last two steps. And that equals 12. And then case number two, uh, again, we have four possible steps. Um, and they're all distinct. So we just say that the number of ways is equal to 4 factorial, which is 24. These are the only two cases. Um, so you add them up. And you are left with uh, 36 total ways to get from 0 to 100 in exactly four seconds. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, check out the, our website, centerofmath.org, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.